All right, guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing a video showing you how to clean out your 900 series or 800 series robot vacuum. So the first step, you're gonna take off the dustbin here and set that aside. For now, we're gonna deal with that last. First, we're going to flip the robot over to expose the main brush roll and the side brush. I, mine are different, mine, I kind of mix and match parts here. Like this is a green roller from an i7 or i series, and this is the gray roller. It's basically the same thing. They, they work no differently. Anyways, so here's what you're gonna do. So I'm going to have my little trash can handy here. So first we're gonna take off the side brush and then remove any hair that may be trapped in it. Usually it's around this. And then we're going to take out the brushes It'll be all trapped in here. You'll see a big wad of hair usually that's trapped around these axles. Same can be said for the back side. Sometimes you're gonna have to like kind of move your finger around there to get all the debris out and whatnot. So yep. Then pop out the two yellow parts. And there should, in there, there's in cases there can be more inside. Now we're going to take apart four screws on the bottom of the unit. This panel is for the battery. Let's go ahead and pop up the battery panel and remove the battery. And then this panel we set aside, and then the, the rest of it kind of just pops off. I mean, don't screw it more. So this panel comes off. We'll deal with that later. Next, we are going to take apart all the screws on the bottom that have all the modular parts. So if let's start with the cleaning head module. four screws on the cleaning head module, two on the top side, and one on either left or the right. And this whole assembly comes out. Now we're gonna take apart the side brush. There's two screws holding it in, there's one here, and there's one up here. Now I would, I'm normally right-handed, but I'm also trying to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. If I use my right hand, it'll block the camera. Take that out. And then we're gonna take off either wheel module. So for this one, there's a screw here. There's a screw here. And there's one in the bottom right corner. And then it's just mirrored for the <clears throat> mirrored for the other one. Out. We got it good enough. And then usually what I do is I use compressed air to just kind of blow the whole thing out, but I actually have a better idea that I've seen some people do before is where they take a whole shot back so they suck up all the debris and whatnot that's inside this part of the vacuum. And then the final start step is remove the front spinning caster wheel. Like that, and you push the little wheel out. So now I'm gonna take a shot back here and completely clean up the inside of the unit. <laughs>
I use Clorox wipes to just gently wipe down the insides of everything. Try not to get on the metal plating though, or the metal tabs. Now, in theory, you don't really have to do this just because this is just gonna, you know, get dirty again after it cleans, but I'm putting this Roomba up for sale. Therefore, I want it to look perfect. The inside and the outside. Sometimes I kind of am able to seat my pad a little deeper under the bumper. Now, if you really want to, you can deassemble this further actually to be able to clean everything better. But this is all I really need to do because this was this room it hasn't been very heavily used. But if you are up for the challenge and you want a deeper clean room, you can disassemble further. Also make sure to clean the inside of the sensor because it's the floor tracker. You want to make sure that's nice and clean. All right, so once you do that, you're gonna set the Roomba aside for now. And then I'm going to start with the front caster wheel. There, there's usually hair wrapped around either side, which is you, what you want to take out as well. Caster wheel assembly is the same from 500 series and up, except for like S9, but. So I'm gonna put my finished pieces off the screen. When I clean the rollers, I just take this gently and just go like this. This is obviously gonna, you don't have to clean it like really good. Cause, but sometimes if you clean it on like a hard floor, like I clean my garage sometimes with my Roombas and the fins here will be kind of black. You'll see black, you'll see where it's dirty. I don't want that on my carpet. So I just do this to, until all the black is off of it. Obviously you're not gonna get this perfect. This is supposed to be touching all the dirt to get it into the dustbin. So just until it looks generally good. This one's not too bad, but just disinfecting it is always a good idea. The second one, obviously also you're gonna have to let all this dry as well. And after this, I'll get a new wipe here. This one's probably dirty. I just clean everywhere within this one inside the along the edges, inside. I actually had to take this side brush apart recently to grease the inside, oil it, make it better. What I like to do for the wheels is I like to take the Clorox wipe, put it over it like this, and then just go like this. So 
so that it like cleans everything. Look at that. Cleaning head module is one of the harder parts to clean. So I open it up, up down the inside of it, and just kind of get everywhere I can. It would be really helpful to have compressed air to get spots where you can't really get. I do not have that on me. Usually I would use it, but I gotta make do because I don't have any right now. I gotta order some more. I just try to get everywhere I can reach, to be honest with you. Just make it look better. I do feel like the, the i-series ones are a little harder, I believe, to clean. If I remember correctly, I might be blanking, but I have a lot of Roomba J7s coming in. I got a big lot of five of them for parts. And I'm gonna be fixing them all. It's gonna be really fun, but I think this looks good for now. We're gonna have to let this all dry too, by the way. Just, you know, gently wipe down. And then I'm gonna take a different wipe for the dustbin. Now, the dustbin, I want, you don't really have to clean the dustbin if you don't want to just because it's going to get dirty again. But um, since I'm selling this, I want to make sure I clean it. So if for, for any reason you guys want to clean your dustbin, this is how. So first, so you surface wipe. Wipe on the back. On the bottom. And the side. And then, uh, so I'm gonna just dry this and then clean the debris inside. 
So filter, how you clean the filter is you take this and you can use these compressed air or the shop bag, which I'm going to use. As you can see, it looks right now. Now for the inside. It was the fan, see right there. I think this, is, this looks pretty good. So now we're not done yet. Now we have to reassemble. So I'm gonna bring everything back over here. So I just put the battery in, go ahead and put all the parts in. And then everything's getting screwed back in. This is going in at an angle and I don't really like that, so I'm gonna see why.
right, so now that that's done, before we put this cover on, it's probably gonna be very dusty underneath. on and we're gonna put the top panel back on like so okay then side brush Then these can go back in. Now there can be these little white spots. If you have a good nail, then sometimes you can get the white spots off if you rub them for long enough. See that? Now, if there's like a million of them, then that can be a really tedious process, but see that? Gone. It's not gonna be perfect, but as good as it can be at least. I like to take the dustbin out when I do this, by the way, so that it's not gonna turn on if I... Please charge room button. Man, it's low battery, so it doesn't matter. Please charge Shut room up. Button. Okay. Shoot. So I can turn this back in. If I take the dustbin out, it'll basically air out saying, put the bin back in, which is why I did that. But I forgot it was a down battery. I want to make sure I ship it with no battery or like with, with a low battery so that it doesn't activate in shipping. That would be very catastrophic to say the least. You might notice that this plate's a little bit different here. That's because it's a 3D printed plate that I designed because the original was missing. Not perfect, but it definitely turned out pretty good, I think. Shoot, shut up. <laughs> I, d I didn't realize, I, I thought it was always weird on this model that when it's on low batteries, you can still make it dock, but shut up. 
Like it's, it's so it's such a different model altogether. Not just the smart navigation, but the tone of sounds is also compressed as well. I never really liked that, but. All right, so that is the gist of how to clean out your 800 or 900 series Roomba. I hope this guy's helps you out a little bit and getting your little dude working or looking a lot better than it used to, to say the least. Um, yeah, hope you, I hope this helped you guys and I will be seeing you guys for the next video.